I talked about inert gases and reactive gases in a, another short video. I'm going to weld, I'm going to MIG weld, I'm going to weld with 7525 with gas. I'm going to turn the gas off and then uh, weld a little bit more and we'll see what the differences are in the two welds. Here's the gas I'm using. Um, 79% argon, 25% carbon dioxide. Now this is a, a very common MIG welding gas. The uh, carbon dioxide w lets the weld uh, form a little bit hotter, so that's why the 7525 gas is available to uh, get a little deeper penetration in your welding. I can weld with this straight carbon dioxide, but I got the 7525 hooked up, so that's what I'm using. So my gas flow is around 20. Let's see what the actual gas flow is. I turn my wire speed down to zero, and my gas is at zero. So my actual flow is zero because this has been bled out. So let's get it up to there. Now our actual flow is about 15, and that's where I want to run today. I'm running the R70S-6 MIG wire. It's a size six millimeter. So that translates to 023. So I'm running an 023 wire. Alright, I turn the gas off. Turn the gas off. Here we go. the exact same settings. Uh, I didn't change the settings at all. All I did was turn off the gas. So here we are with gas and here we are without gas. This actually came out a little better than I thought it would. I thought it might be worse than this. Anyway, you can see the substantial difference with gas, without gas. Shielded, unshielded. Uh, probably slag and, and uh, hydrogen, oxygen contaminated within the weld here too. You can see the substantial difference between shielded, unshielded, MIG welding, metal, inert gas. It's a process that's made to work in the presence of shielding gas and that's how it was designed. That's how it works. Uh, I guess you could weld without shielding gas. The weld's just going to lay out there on top. It's not going to be very strong, but it might hold something together temporarily. Uh, so the process is made to run with gas. Hope this short demo helped you to understand uh, gas shielding. Hope you learned something today. Thanks for watching at Longevity's Learning Lab.